Tim Hunt, the guitar guy here. And we today are going to be doing something very different. You see, here in New Zealand, we have a thing called New Zealand Music Month. Now, so every month, uh, every time it's May, we have New Zealand Music Month, which means, which means we basically promote uh, any songs that are our New Zealand songs, Kiwi songs, and, we, and the radio stations get behind it, TV gets behind it, everyone gets behind it. So I'm going to be getting behind it and teaching you guys some... Uh, or what we would say would be cult classic songs here in New Zealand. Just a couple of them, just to give you a taste of some fantastic songwriters from New Zealand over the years. Um, so today we are doing Loyal by Dave Dobbin. So that's Loyal by Dave Dobbin. I'm going to be doing it with a capo in the fifth position um, because my voice is incredibly low and his voice is incredibly high. However, you still get the idea and the way I'm teaching this, you can play in an open position that sounds exactly like the album. So let's get into that song. So it's Dave Dobbin, Loyal, Awesome song, I love it. It's just a, I think it's a beautiful song. It's got some amazing, cool little guitar parts going on in it. So we're going to do the basic vision today, remembering our style. It's Saturday, so we need to get into it and do some basic vision of the song. Now the intro has got a little harmonic part going, which we'll break down later on in a more difficult section. I'm just going to give you the chords for those as we go. Okay, so that we're going to do a G chord. We're going to be doing a two bars of G. And I'm just going down strums, okay? I'm just going muted down strums quite fast. Da 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 I'll show you that a bit later, a bit more uh, accurately later on. But the chords are pretty simple. So G for two bars, then we've got a C to a D. Now you can do C9 if you want to, so you can go from a G to a C add nine, which is just underneath it. Okay? Nothing too flash there, the C add 9 chord, if you've never done that before, I'll give you the tab for that. It's nothing on the top string. Then we've got 3, 2, 0, 3, 3, okay? So that's what happens in the uh, in the verse as well. So we've got, uh, I can remember last time I thanked you, keeping my distance unintentional. So that keeps that going over and over that cycle. So two bars of G, a bar of C, A9 or C and D. Okay? And then we've got the chorus. Call me loyal. So that part's a little bit more tricky, but we've got a G, we've got a D with an F sharp bass, and then an E minor. So we go. We'll do that again. So I've got G, D with an F sharp bass, or you could do a D. If you are wanting to, just do a D is fine. D with an F sharp bass if you're wanting to do that. It's two on the top string, so two, nothing, zero, two, three, two, okay? Then an E minor, then we've got a C and a D. So half a bar of G of those two, then E minor. So half a bar of G, half a bar of D, or D with an F sharp bass, then a bar of E minor, then a bar of C, and a bar of D. It's the chorus, then it ends on a C and then a D with long strokes, just one stroke each chord. Call me love, keep it that way. And we're back to the other part of the song. Pretty much that's the song. The chords aren't too tricky when you do the basic version of the song. But the tr tricky part though is with the right hand. So the right hand now, we're going to do the two different strumming styles you'll need for this song. So there's two different styles. There's the intro part, which is all downstrokes and kind of muted. So I'm muting, I'm using the palm of my hand on the top of the guitar, just above the nut, the nut, the bridge, just above the bridge. So just in front of there, just above the nut would be a bit weird. So just above the bridge, and I'm just doing downstrokes and I'm accenting, I'm going da 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 da. So if there's eight in there, there's eight strokes, eight downstrokes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm accent accenting the one and the four of the eight downstrokes, okay? So we've got that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the to count for that would be one and two and three and four and. So we're basically doing on the strong beat on the one and on an end. One, two, three, uh, one and two and. So one and two and is where the end is. So. So in making the accent, you're just lifting the palm slightly. Okay, pretty simple. And that applies to when we do the advanced version as well. Pretty simple. Now the other part when we do the chorus, we're going to open up and we're going to strum our TikTok pattern and we're going to do down, down, up, up, down, up, which is the basic rock strum. So check out the basic rock strum. That can help you out with that one. So we're going to go down, down, up. 
note that's what we're doing with the strumming pattern. But the chord change is on the upstroke. Down, down, up. If you've got a chord, if you've got two chords in a bar with this strumming pattern, it's kind of a cool way to do it. Down, down, up, up, down. So you can hear that change going on. Now the, you know, I'm doing a D with an F sharp bass now, guys. If you want to do a D, that's totally fine. So if you want to go. fine as well but if you can handle the thumb on top doing the doing the F sharp bass note I know it's a hard one to do it just sounds a little bit more musical to me anyway so okay and that's it the basic lesson pretty much done like see for the last I guess at the end we've got the keep it that way we're just doing one down strum and when we're doing those down strums we're just doing a I call it a rake where we slowly rake across or sweep across the strings and we intentionally we don't we don't have all the notes hitting at once we we, we release them one at a time but not too slowly not like you want them to be like a like a harp okay that's all that we do for that part nice and easy there it is. That's the basic version of the song. So when we come back, we're going to be getting into the song because the, the advanced part of this song is where the beautiful um, little tinkly tinkly little, little beautiful little oh, little gorgeous parts are coming up. So I hope you're looking forward to that lesson and not going to be too afraid of that because we're going to get right into some amazing sounding bits. Um, so yeah, New Zealand Music Month. I hope you're going to enjoy these songs. Um, if you've never heard those songs, please go and check them out. They're, he's an amazing artist. Dave Dobbin, check him out. He's an Oh, he's done some awesome stuff. I don't think he's done anything bad. So uh, looking forward to seeing you guys next. Mark the Guitar Guy, if you've got any questions, make sure you go down below. Let me know your name. Let me know you, where you're from. And I'd love to hear from you and what you're thinking of these videos. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys very shortly for an advanced version. So we'll see you soon.